What's going on YouTube? I'm Slick, that's Slick Jackson, and if you're looking for the coolest, grooviest content on the side, well, you've come to the right place. I'm not sure if you know a thing or two about I Show Speed. Guy's blown up and he's going pretty strong, which is pretty impressive since the guy's like, what, 16 or 17? I'm not big on the guy's content, but I gotta give respect where respect's due. He's gotta be making bank at a pretty young age, and, you know, I hope he's putting it in good places. Investments, stock, real estate, and that sort of stuff, I suppose. It's like I said, though, I'm not big on the guy's content. If you watch him or any of his clips, you probably know why. He's a pretty zany guy, real loud. He's got no filter whatsoever. I'm sure the kids love him, but his sort of thing really ain't up my alley. Well, it looks like his off-the-walls content is starting to catch the ire of YouTubers in the community. Figures. Pansies. So, Jake Lucky, someone who does news for happenings in the video game community, made this tweet. I now understand why Valorant queues are so unbelievably toxic. You got one of the most popular streamers on YouTube, I Show Speed, saying crap like this and getting nothing but praise and laughs. Crap is whack. Attached is the video, if you've seen it, you can just skip ahead. But for the sake of people who've been living under the proverbial rock, I'll just let it play out. Hey, where she is? She's on top of the thing. 10 seconds left. Left. Oh, left. 10 seconds. Are you left? Fuck! Man, your feet, dog, man. Come on, bruh. Man, you gotta hit those shots, man. Man, shut your stupid ass it's up, it's nigga. Everyone. Who are you talking to, bruh? Shut your nerd ass up, bro. bro. I'm gonna play this game. Shut up, monkey. Shut up. Shut your bitch ass up. Alright. Alright. You're at the fight. Alright. Calm down. Damn, bruh. Shut up, bruh. I know how to play this game. I'm not a noob, alright? God Obviously damn! You don't know how to play the fucking game. Game. What? Like what, bitch? You're bitch? So is a bitch cool. talking to me? Is a female talking to me? Am I yo? No, no, no. Am I tripping? Am I tripping? Or how do I tell Is a female talking to me right now? Is a fucking female talking to me? Get off the fucking game and do your husband dishes, bitch. Shut up. Fuck you. Fuck is wrong with y'all. Stop talking to me like that, nigga. Fuck is wrong with y'all, dog. I'm not one of these little lame ass Valorant nerds, nigga. Fuck wrong with y'all. Now fucking suck. Down mid. Oh, wait. I got the spike. Fucking nerds on my mid. fucking team. Look like bitch, like who the fuck is you talking to, bitch? <laughs> fuck is wrong to go, go do your life. Last player standing. Fuck out of here. Stay really cool. Ass, ass. Y'all are pure ass. Y'all are ass. Y'all are ass. Y'all are ass. Y'all are ass. So from that clip, I think it's pretty obvious what's going on here. I show speeds playing a game called Valorant and loses a 1v1 that would have gotten the win. Then, as you saw, his teammates kind of mocked him for it and he responded in his typical way, just kind of freaking out over it. Obviously, there was the bit where he went off on a female, told her to do the dishes. As we all know, that's an age old joke for a woman who play video games, telling them to get off Call of Duty and make me a sandwich, you know, go do the dishes, that sort of stuff. Honestly, the clip doesn't seem that bad to me. Like what? He got mad in a video game? Whoop de dang do. People like it when he does that. That's his gimmick. I mean, he gets mad. And I mean, come on, telling a woman to do the dishes is probably the lamest joke in the book. It's been done to death at this point. It's not worth getting mad over. And, near as I can tell, this is Asho Speed playing a character, or at least an exaggerated form of himself. It's obviously not meant to be taken seriously. I know people might say, well, it's still not okay because people might feel uncomfortable. People might not like that character. But is it really any different from what people like Filthy Frank, Mega64, or Eric Andre do? The people who go on Omega and do weird stuff? These YouTubers who go out and do skits to obviously oblivious and unconsenting audiences? The reception they get is overly positive. People love it. We've allowed these figures to do it. Is it so bad that someone does pretty much the same thing just on a video game? Or are we all doing a complete 180 on our morals and ethics now? It was okay to do it, but now it ain't because some dingus on Twitter who has a big YouTube channel said otherwise. Jake continues by quoting the video, What bitch? Is a bitch talking to me? Is a female talking to me? Get off the game and do your husband's dishes, bitch. Actually, unbelievable. Kids be looking up to this and finding it all right. Oh, great, it's the whole someone think of the children deal. I don't know what he's getting at here. It's not Speed's job to be a role model. I mean, if everyone who makes content online is expected to be a role model for the youth, well, we'd have to purge half the damn web. But yeah, honestly, I don't know why we're jumping on Speed for this when I'm pretty sure he said a lot worse. Say if we're the last two people on Earth and we had to reproduce to make the world continue. Would you uh, reproduce with me? No, because that means our kids will have to intertwine and then their kids, no. Who gonna stop me? 
I don't know, I think the response particularly by bigger creators is interesting, because it seems that a lot of them are really showing their hand here. We have the act man, holy shoot, that was way worse than I thought it would be, LMAO, this dude needs help. Again, like the guy got angry at a video game because it gets some clicks, I don't know why we're suggesting he needs to go to the funny farm, but whatever. It gets real good though, Keemstar comes in and posts a collage of sorts of some of act man's less savory tweets. F slurs, and words suicide jokes, the works. Not a good look, I'll say that much. Responds with a meme. The Twitter users are trying to cancel me again. He responds, it's the this dude needs help that caused my reaction to you. I think if you shout sexist hateful stuff on a stream to thousands of people without any hesitation, you probably need help in managing anger. What's your point? Do you disagree? Wait, so he wasn't even joking when he said that the guy needs professional help? Wow, setting a pretty low bar there if you think anyone who gets mad at a video game should be sent to the loony bin. You're very much correct, but those screenshots don't paint you as someone who has it all there mentally. Those screenshots are of five-year-old tweets with no context, clearly not representative of the person I am now. I've addressed all that stuff four times already. I moved past that four years ago. I, look, I don't really believe in digging into someone because they said some offensive stuff in the past, but when you act like the arbiter of moral justice, it's kind of hard not to. Again, it just goes to show you, you really shouldn't take what these people have to say too seriously, these cancel culture types, you know, because in all honesty, they're not perfect either. Oh god, dude, get a load of this. This kind of behavior borders on domestic violence, boss. Emotional violence against women is not okay. <laughs> Picture your dad screaming at your mom like this over something trivial. Jesus Christ and a pogo stick. I don't I don't even know what to say to this. Someone got mad at a video game and you're comparing it to domestic violence? Like, how do I put into perspective how deranged this tweet is? I got nothing. I don't know how you compare domestic violence, uh, no, a physical act, to telling a woman to do the dishes in a video game. Like, ugh. Talk about terminally online. We have the supposed head of gaming creators saying on it, which honestly sounds like a whole bunch of LARP on it. Like what? He's, he's on some sort of uh, special mission. Ugh. Is he implying that he's gonna ban him over this clip? Seems like a pretty low bar to set for kicking someone off the site, right? I mean, there's so much worse on the platform. Not saying that those videos should also get banned. I'm just saying pretty weird low bar to set. And why so ominous too, seems unprofessional. I feel like we the people deserve a little more transparency when it comes to this stuff, but then again, it is YouTube's. We have a Riot Games employee coming in. This is a huge yikes. Oh, Jesus. You know, people who say yikes are my biggest pet peeve, man. They just strike me as incredibly obnoxious. Like, if you say yikes, instantly take what you have to say less seriously. And we do not want players like this in our community at all. I went ahead and permabanned this player from Valorant, as well as all other Riot games. Thanks for raising this. Please keep raising stuff like this and reporting so we can make Val safer. Yeah, Val safer. Because obviously someone who gets mad at a video game should obviously be marked as a psychopath. Mass murderer, obviously. You know, we gotta keep people safe from these people. <laughs> like, I'll be honest, this really ain't a good look for the company, in my opinion. Like, the fact that I can get banned, not just from a single game, but an entire developer's library, doesn't leave a good taste in my mouth. No mistakes happen, you know, I don't know. People might say, oh, well, slick, it, the, the solution is real simple, just don't be toxic. But in a day and age where anything can be construed as toxic or offensive, well, eventually that kind of reasoning is gonna bite you in the hua. I know people have brought up some other videos where people are being racist to speed in the very same game. The clean water, hey, I'm trying to figure out how to heal the game. Can you just tell me how to heal in the game? Just heal like a oh, woman? Only the white characters can heal. Yeah, only, only the... The, the white characters can heal, I'm sorry. I'm not really sure if it's relevant to the story in particular, although it is pretty interesting to see that people are dogpiling on speed when so much worse has been said to and about him in the very games he's playing. So with the head of an entire YouTube division seemingly at his throat, not to mention having gotten banned from an entire game developer's library, Speed probably felt prompted to make an apology. I'll let it play out, but if you've already seen it, feel free to skip ahead. I don't really have anything of note to say about it. What's good, um, everybody? Um, it's a clip, you know, that I seen, you know, that's going crazy right now. Uh, me between the altercation with uh, a girl, and I was playing Valorant. You know what I'm saying? And I want to say some, you know, like a few things, um, uh, from that uh, situation. You know what I'm saying? But that day, um, you know, I wasn't having a good day. You know, I was getting a lot of racist texts and speech donations. A lot of people, you know, talking about my dead aunt that's in the grave right now. But look. I don't want to make that no excuse. I'm wrong. You know what I'm saying? I'm not I'm not trying to justify. You know what I'm saying? 
I'm just saying like that day. I just don't bash on people for no reason. That's what I'm, that's where I'm coming from from that, you know, statement I just said. But, you know, I'm I'm completely wrong. You know what I'm saying? I was completely wrong in that situation right there. I can't say anything to justify that situation right there. But that clip is from months ago and I changed from that and I grew. You know what I'm saying? I'm very I'm, I don't want to I'm young. You know what I'm saying? I'm very young. I, I for every situation I grow, you know, and I change, you know, and I got to become a better person. That is not me no more. That is not me. And I grow from that situation. That's come from the bottom of my heart. I doubt it. That is not me. You know, and hopefully I can, you know, really, you know, see like the genuine in me. You know what I'm saying? I apologize from that girl. I apologize. If, if that girl was to me up and say anything, you know, I would love to hear her out. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, I'm, I apologize. That's not me. That clip is from months ago. I'm sorry, man. Peace out. To be honest, it is disappointing that he didn't, you know, stand up for himself here. I can understand why he didn't though. I mean, his livelihood seemingly being threatened. A lot of the internet's at his throat, and I'm sure he just wants to be left to do his own thing. So, yeah, morally, I don't think he needed to apologize. I don't really think he did anything too bad, but, you know, I can't really fault him either. He just wants to keep what he's built. It's pretty funny too. I know he said that the video was months old, which, if that's true, it's just laughable on Jake's part. He seriously dug up a clip that's months old just to dog on some kid. That's sad, no two ways about it. Not that it would really make a difference. Again, the video really ain't that bad. It doesn't matter if it was released today or several years ago. It's just absolute clown behavior on your part. Jake responded to this, and honestly, this tweet makes me gag. You're young, but with such a large audience, you carry a lot of influence, man, to a lot of impressionable people. Thanks for the further explanation on the situation. First of all, piss off with that condescending talk down to speech. You're not an authority figure, you're just some dunce on the internet trying to stir up some do. And again with this, think of the children line. It's such a stupid opinion to think that YouTubers are responsible for their audience, how they interpret and interact with them. If a YouTuber wants to view themselves as a role model, that's fine. They can try and set their good example. But not every YouTuber has to do so. Most of us are just here to entertain, maybe get a few laughs, a paycheck if we really can. We're not here to steer you in the right path. Someone says, ha ha ha, you tried to cancel him. Which, I mean, yeah. To which Jake responds, you really think after all the controversies he's been in that this is the thing that would cancel him? No, I, I called out behavior that I don't agree with by a streamer who has an audience of millions. And then that comes with responsibility. Okay, again, Again, shut up with this whole like responsibility like it, it's so stupid but dude you, you can't read the original tweets and tell me that he wasn't trying to do something here like okay maybe he wasn't trying to get him deplatformed but he was actively nudging towards it right like that's the thing when people try to cancel someone they don't specifically say hey deplatform this person they're subtle about it they don't outright say it they just make a few nudges and jabs at it your backtracking won't work here buddy we ain't dumb we ain't dumb. To wrap all this up, all I'll say is, Jake man, you put yourself on a time limit now, because someday you'll be on the receiving end of all this outrage, and we'll remember, yep, we'll remember the day that you got Twitter to dogpile a freaking teenager for clout and internet points. It might take months, it might take years, but when I gotta talk about something stupid that you did that warranted a bunch of people getting up on your ass for it, well, I can't wait to shove this thing in your face like a slice of humble pie. That's all I've got for this shtick. Nah, you guys do old Jackie a favor and keep it groovy. Thank you. Thank you very much.